to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I have a very needed, highly requested video for you and I'm gonna be sharing with you my 10 tips to combat stress eating. As we know, this is a very stressful time in all of our lives, whether we're directly or indirectly affected by everything that's going on in our world. We can give in to stress eating. We can make some stressful eating decisions that can really put a damper on our weight loss and kind of put us back quite a bit of steps in our weight loss journey that we're gonna have to recover from when this is all over. So I wanna share with you today my 10 tips that I've used personally to combat stress eating. So if you wanna hear these 10 tips, stay tuned. I'm a run from a given disaster. So tip number one has double purpose. Number one, it is essential for weight loss. Number two, it keeps us hydrated. And number three, it keeps our belly full. And that is drinking water. So what better time than being at home all day, every day is there to really up your water game. I know for me, I can't do plain water. So I always put, as you know, Meyer lemons or limes or something in my water. And I make sure that I give myself five to six of my water jugs every single day. So this right here is my water container and I drink five to six of these every day. You can see that I just have some lemon in there. This keeps me hydrated. It fills my stomach, keeps me full, keeps me from going to my refrigerator, pantry or freezer or even into the kitchen other than to refill this sucker. And it's a great chance for me to really up my water game, which I've noticed has really helped my weight loss game as well. I'm feeling a lot more satisfied and full by just upping the amount of water that I'm drinking every single day. Number two is take a 15 minute walk. Studies show that by going on a 15, just a simple 15 minute walk, it curbs your cravings, especially for sugar and sweet things, which we all know I love my sugar and sweet things. So just taking a quick 15 minute walk, and if you can't get outside, walk your house for 15 minutes. But taking that 15 minutes not only gets you in some steps and some activity every day, other than just sitting on the couch, binge watching your favorite Netflix shows. It gets you out there, gets you some exercise, some activity, some steps, and it also is proven to help curb cravings. I think part of that is because you're doing something other than thinking about food, but just getting your body moving and those kind of endorphins going really helps regulate the need and desire for food. And most of the time, it's not broccoli, it's unhealthy food. Number three is something that I love that my clean approach to WW has given me, and that is eating healthy fats. I eat healthy fats every single day, sometimes several times a day. And I'm talking things like avocado, nut butter, olive oil, avocado oil. Introduce healthy fats into your diet because they keep you satiated and full and it triggers your body to feel full. That way you're not reaching for snacks and other foods that you shouldn't be reaching for. It also helps lubricate your brain and lubricate your body so that you don't feel as hungry. It also is known to help with stress by introducing and having healthy fats in your diet daily. Now, if you don't love avocado, find some, some way to incorporate some type of healthy fat. Maybe it is the nut butter, or maybe it's cooking your dinner in olive oil, but make sure that you're adding healthy fats into your day at least once, if not more, every single day. Number four is think long term. I know that right now things are really, really stressful, but this too shall pass, and eventually we'll be back to normal. So kind of think long term when you're wanting to stress eat. Did you know that if you eat something out of stress, the positivity of that motion of eating only lasts for three minutes? So think long term. Is it better to eat this slice of cake that's only going to satisfy me for three minutes? Or is it better to go take my 15 minute walk and come back and have a healthy snack that's going to benefit me in the long run? So really think about the food that you're eating before you're actually eating eating it. And remember that the first bite's always the best bite and that fantastic feeling you get from eating that food only lasts three minutes. And number five kind of goes hand in hand with number four and that's take a bite. Oh my gosh, you guys do not deprive yourself. If you are sitting at home and you're stressed out with everything going on in your family, your job, your world in general, go ahead and have a bite. And remember the first and the last bite always tastes the best. So go have a bite of your favorite cake. Go have a bite of your favorite candy or a couple of chips out of your bag. 
track it and move on. Go ahead and have a bite. Just make sure you're tracking it. And remember that first bite's going to taste the best. So eat a bite, a little amount, track it and move on. Don't overindulge, but that way that craving that you're feeling, that stress that you're feeling, that you're giving yourself added stress by not eating the food that you want is going to diminish and you're gonna feel satiated and that taste is exactly what your body needs. Number six is take a bath or a shower or do some self care. Do something to take your mind out of off of being stressed out and take your mind off of food. I know for me, sometimes just putting a face mask on and you really can't eat when you have a face mask on, whether it's a sheet mask or a clay mask, it's really, really hard to eat and doesn't really taste the best. So that's a great way to get your mind off of food and really de-stress you, make you feel relaxed and comfortable and focus on being happy. Go sit in a bubble bath, turn all the lights off, shut the door, tell your kids and your family this is mom time, light a candle, turn on your diffuser, bring in a glass of wine, some soft music, and just relax. Take an extra long, hot shower. Exfoliate your skin, deep condition your hair. Do something for yourself that relieves your body of stress. Most of us have these products on hand, so it's not something that we have to go out and buy, but it really helps keep us less stressed and again, it keeps your mind off of food if you're doing something that keeps you busy. Therefore, you're not feeling stressed out and you're not stressed eating. Number seven is distract yourself. Do something to keep your hands and your mind busy. It may be watching your favorite show. Maybe you wanna catch up on those YouTube videos that you just don't have time to watch. Maybe you want to get a caught up on a project at home. Maybe touch up the paint on your walls. Maybe wash all the curtains in your house or wash all your towels, your bedding, your blankets. Do something that distracts you from stress, that distracts you from wanting to eat. I know for me, the busier I am, the less stressed I am because I'm not focusing on what's happening in the world and the less likely I am to overindulge or indulge in foods that I necessarily shouldn't be eating or don't work well in my WW program. So do whatever it takes to distract yourself. And even if that means laying on your couch with a cuddly blanket watching a show, that's better than stress eating any day of the week. Number eight is a big one, and this is be strategic with your food. So if you find yourself stress eating, be strategic on what you're stress eating. I know it's easier said than done. You wanna immediately reach for the junk food, but be mindful of what you're eating. Focus on fruits and vegetables if at all possible. Now, if you are going to have something sweet, make sure you're pairing that with some sort of healthy fat or protein. For example, choose to have a half of a cup of cottage cheese with some pineapple on it. That way you're getting some protein from the cottage cheese, but you're getting the sweetness of the pineapple. Or reach for a big juicy apple and dip it in a tablespoon of nut butter for three smart points. Make sure that you're pairing your sweet with some sort of protein or healthy fat and just do your best to reach for those healthy snacks. And really, if you don't bring in food that you struggle with controlling yourself over into your house, it's much easier to not stress eat. And I know for me, I just don't bring those foods into my house. And it's not like I can hop in my car and go to the grocery store every day to buy those binge worthy foods. It's just better that I stay at home. And if I'm just not bringing those foods into my house, I'm less likely, of course, to eat those. So just make sure that you're strategically eating your snacks and do your absolute best to reach for healthy versions of your favorite snack. Number nine is don't skip meals. You guys, this is when we get into trouble. We're all stressed out, and I know for me, when I'm stressed, I don't, I don't have an appetite. I generally don't want to eat as much as when I'm happy or go lucky or in my normal daily life. So if you're like me and you just don't have an appetite, still eat your meals. Eat your three square meals a day. Make sure that you're having at least one snack during the day as well. And don't go hours and hours without eating because that's when we get into trouble. That's when even if we're not choosing unhealthy or high point foods, because remember, we don't have those in our house right now, we're still overeating the foods that we should be eating. So therefore we're overeating points, calories, it all is a domino effect. So make sure that you're eating regularly, and if you're not super hungry, just have a snack. Just put something in your body so that you're not skipping meals and you're not going for a long period of time without food because that's when we really get into trouble. And number 10 is treat yourself once a week. That is what weeklies are for. That is what fit points are for. WW gives us weeklies because they encourage us to eat them. Now. 
Is it possible that you may not lose as much weight? It's possible, but the weeklies are there for us to use I say in times of need, in times of emergency for some of our favorite non-WW friendly foods. So take advantage of those weeklies and treat yourself once a week. Whether that means ordering from a local restaurant to support them and bringing that food home and just having a nice dinner with your family, maybe getting some type of your favorite dessert at the grocery store, some cookies, some cake, or maybe buying your favorite bag of chips and dip and having that once a week. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself once a week. Again, that's what weeklies are for. That's what fit points are for. So use those, especially right now, so that you're not feeling deprived, which is that therefore making you feel stressed out because you're deprived of your favorite foods and take advantage of this time to use your weeklies. I promise you, you may not lose as much weight as quickly, but you're going to overall in the big scheme of things, continue to lose weight during this really stressful time. And really that is what matters. That's what's most important is for you, if you're wanting to stay on track, do whatever you have to do to keep yourself on track. And you continue to lose weight during the quarantine, during this stressful time in all of our lives. So that is it, my friends. Those are my 10 tips to combat stress eating. I hope that this really helps you guys out. These are definitely tips that I've taken to heart. I've done several of these things over the last few weeks. Again, this is going to pass. We are going to get back to normal, but I know that this is a really stressful time for everybody. It impacts every single one of us in some way, whether it's directly or indirectly. So take these 10 tips, use them to help you stay on track or just to help you not gain what they call the quarantine 15. And so that when this all passes, we can get right back to normal life and right back to losing weight the way that we want to lose weight for our program. So I, again, I hope this really helped you guys out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around and join my YouTube friends and family. Hit the little bell so you're notified each time a new video is uploaded. Give this one a big thumbs up if you thought that these 10 tips were helpful. And of course, comment down below, share some of your tips for combating stress eating. We could all use some extra tips. That way, when we're reading through the comments, we're all gaining a new perspective on stress eating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video finds you and your family safe and healthy, and I'll see you in my next video.